This is the fifth video in the series of creating a graphical application with DK Inter and Python. In our last video, we started adding a new functionality that will allow for a convenient switch between search engines, in this case between Google and DuckDuckGo. And we started by extending the callback and get functions. And in this video, we're going to finish off by adding two radio buttons to work with the extended functions. So this should be quite easy. Uh, but first, let's import everything from, from TK Inter. All right. And now we're going to add the radio buttons after bending our entry with the return key. So let's say my button 2 is DTK button. We're, we're going to link it to the root text is going to display Google. The value is going to be Google. So we have to make sure if bin.get equals Google, we're going to do value Google. Okay. And the variable that's going to work with this button is BTN2. Okay. Now we're going to use the grid geometry manager to put this in our, um, to arrange it within our main application. So my button to grid, this is going to be row equals one, the second row, the column, the column is going to be one and we'll make it stick to the west side of the of the app and we're gonna do the same thing for another button that's gonna work with that's gonna be for duck duck so it's ttk button we're gonna add it to the root text is duck value is duck and it, it is the same variable so this way we make sure that only one radio button can be selected at once so this is my button 3 so my button 3 grid it's going to be row equals 1 column equals 1 so it's the same column but we're going to stick it to to the east okay should be good to go and to make the app even more convenient we're gonna make it that we can already that we can immediately input text as soon as the app opens up so we don't have to click on the entry widget to start typing so how do we do this so we wanna readily input text as soon as the app opens up this is done by focusing on the entry on the entry widget you should see it once we once we run the application okay so we'll leave this as it is and let's run it okay let's see how many errors we get this time invalid syntax where exactly text equals okay oh yeah 
So it is radio and B it is with and lower caps radio button. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so there you have it. You can see the focus is already within the entry widget. So if we remove this entry and run the application one more time, you can see that there is no focus. So you you have to click to start typing. But so it's entry one focus. You got it. Okay, so let's do a search for irrationality. Select Google and click search. See how it works. Okay, so the app stays on top of the, the windows. Let's hit enter, see if that works as well. Okay, now let's select duck, hit enter. And hit the search. Okay, so it works as we want it to. Now, I cannot at the moment think of any other functionality to, to add to this application, but if you have something in mind, please let me know in the comment sections below. In our next video, we're gonna create an executable. We're gonna make it uh, an executable to conveniently run under Windows. Um, so that's it for today. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.